Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we came to this Titan, and now we're going over to this city here in order to check out what's going inside the city. So before we do that, we have a little thing to talk about here. So hang on a moment, guys. Is it just me, or is the Cloud Sea level higher than it was before? I think you're right. Guess it must be what they call high tide. The cloud sea level changes because of the Gormont Titan walking through it, right? At times, the clouds reach scarcely up to the Titan's ankles, while at other times, like now, the clouds are around its belly. With the clouds at this height, I guess we won't be able to get back to the place where we made camp. Indeed, that area will be submerged beneath the clouds. But the Titan's always moving, so I'm sure the clouds will be lower again sooner or later. Quite right. I'd heard about stuff like this, but it's kind of amazing seeing it firsthand. You don't get phenomena like this in Argentum, or in Left Area, that's for sure. Arrest really is a big place. Alright, that's enough gopping around. Let's get going. Torigoth is so close now, I can smell it. I mean... It is pretty close, because we just have to walk a little bit and it'll be right there. The Titans of Allrest are surrounded by the Cloud Sea, and as Rex and his friends were just discussing, the Cloud Sea has tides that come and go. The shifting tides will close off places that you could once visit, as well as opening up places that you couldn't reach, so plan your adventure accordingly. You can check the status of the Cloud Sea's tides by looking at the Environmental Information Indicator. Take a look at the newly added icon in the top right corner. If the cloud sea's level is shown above the median line, that means the clouds are at high tide. Conversely, if it's below the median line, it means the clouds are currently at low tide. So, that's showing that the clouds are currently at high tide. Okay. Also, this is a really nice view. I do need to be careful though, because I don't want to fall off here. But, this is a really nice view here. This is awesome, except for that giant thing over there. But other than that, everything looks cool. Anyways, let's go inside hey, Torigoth so we can see what's going on. And I'm assuming we're going to have some sort of a cutscene here to introduce the city. So let's see. And here we go. So, this is Torigoth. It hasn't changed a bit. You? It's nothing. Okay, then. I'll show you to an end. Then I'm out of here. You know, you don't have to do that. You could just stick around. You don't really need to go back to those other people. Because, you know, they're not exactly nice. And it might not be a good idea to go back over there, because you never know what's going to happen. So, yeah. What do we have here? Ooh. Well, that's interesting. What the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. Likeness, to say the least. Oi, did you see some of that? Uh, no. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. That's kind of funny, to be perfectly honest. Oh no. Oh no. It might not be a good idea to do that in front of people. Just saying. strong heart today. We'll build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility. For the what glory is this? of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall. Come now. Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Hmm. What's the deal over there? I have no idea. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. 
The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. What do you mean hmm. by potential? Interesting. I'm not sure I follow. Just see Why do they want more drivers though? I'm not sure. Don't do it, bro. It's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? We'll look after us. But please. I, I know it's dangerous, but if I can be become a driver. Out of the way, squeak. Well, that person's not nice. What is going on there? Indeed. Yikes. Oh, bark and no bike. oh gosh, okay, so I'm assuming that thing is testing if they're able to, I don't know, handle the core crystal? That's what happens. When someone unqualified touches a core crystal, truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude. Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the glory of the Empire? Oh, how about you? What say you? Stand Is anyone else going to do it? Don't oh no. Don't worry. Your big bro's gonna be a driver. And then we'll be set for life. Can he handle it though? Don't do it. He's doing it anyways. <laughs> it doesn't look as bad as the other person, so I'm assuming he's qualified for this. Okay then. Nice! It worked! I guess. Cool. Very, very cool. So, yeah, that's interesting. He just touched the crystal and it turned into that. That is how blades are born, Rex. What? But when I touch Pyra's... She's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. Makes sense. All her business with sharing her life force, it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Jin and Malos, they called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's go. That would be a good idea, because, you know, she is the Aegis, so, yeah. She would probably know what the name means, just because it makes sense. So, we've arrived in Torigoth, Gormoth's largest settlement, so now is a good time to talk about developing towns. Towns in Allrest are rated according to their level of development. This is called their development level or dev level for short. A town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. When a town's dev level goes up, then you can expect the price of goods in shops to go down. Some shops might even expand their ranges and sell never before seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residence difficulties. It's also possible to earn a few dev points just by talking to people you meet. You can view the dev level of a town anytime you go shopping, and also by going to main menu skip travel. As a public spirited citizen of Allrest, you should do all you can to raise the dev level of its settlements. Okay. Oh, whoops. Let's check the main menu. <laughs> okay, where is it? Skip travel. What's the dev level over here? Torigoth? How do I check this dev level? Oh, there it is. Okay, so 
They don't really have a dev level. Okay, then. That's cool. So, we can buy stuff now, and that's pretty cool. Have you been shopping yet? If you make it to a new town, be sure to check out what the local merchants have to offer. There's a good chance they'll have a few new products that were previously unavailable to you. You might even want to use skip travel to head back to Argentum and see how the goods here compare to the ones there. Okay, I'll try that out. So, this person's still setting up. Okay, what can we buy here? A gourmet head. I don't know if I need that, so I'm not going to buy that. Okay, we can buy some swords here. Interesting. Sword of the Dingo, Sword of the Fox, Plain Sword. Are they better though? In some aspects, yes. I guess. But at the same time, you know, they're not really that much better. Because it does decrease some stuff. So I'll wait until we can purchase one that's really good. And not one that's just good. Okay, let's see what we can buy here. Nothing that's too good, but what we can do is sell some stuff. So that's nice. I didn't know I have this thing, but that's cool. What's the most expensive thing we have? I guess it's this, but I'm not selling that since we sort of kind of just got that, and I don't want to sell it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. How do we sort? Sort by rarity. Okay. So, what do we have here? Sort by alphabetical, I guess. What do I want to sell? Here's the thing, there's nothing I really want to sell, so for now, I'll just avoid that. And I'll check out the other areas. So, what do we have here? Okay. What about over here? Artwork, music, I don't really need that stuff, I don't think. And it looks like we have to go to a specific shop. Which one is this? It is inside here, right? Yes, I think. Maybe it's around, so let's walk, okay. We'll get spotted if we go that way, so let's walk this way. And maybe the thing we need to find is over here, I guess. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. We blades start out formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of our potential can imbue us with form. Be it. and it is by those forms we come to be known. So interesting, see, my boy. In some ways, it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow, Why that's pretty cool. That, that is, is pretty no cool. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The rest but of does it, though? Blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra. She was crying when I met her. Was she okay. brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? Who? When? How? What is the Aegis? Really? Oh, Why don't you ask? Nobody move. Oh, hello there. How's it going? Would you like to fight? Because it looks like that's what is about to happen, so... Let's go! <laughs> Unless, of course, they're peacefully going to do something.
It's her, all right. Garmati driver, white beast form blade. She'll okay. Exactly like the wanted poster. Oh no. Oh no, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. That was a bad idea. Okay. You know, can we just deal with the situation? Now as for you, you look like a driver too. Registration number? Drivers have registration numbers? Knock it off, you fool. What? New drivers must register with a knock. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. I no, guess... I don't know. We'll see I mean, do we have a registration number, or does he just not know the registration number off the, off the top of his head? Right. Both situations would make sense. Okay, let's run away, and let's see what we have to do after that. Oh, never mind, I don't think we're running away. Great, let's stick around and fight. That is also a pretty good option, I guess. Let's go. Yeah. Two. And... Where's three? Okay, oh, there we go. Awesome. Let's do this. Okay. The battle has begun. It's time to tell you about cancel attacks. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an auto attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. This ring of light tells you that your cancel attack has been successful. A successful cancel attack will be more effective than an art executed normally. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards, so you can really get an advantage from using cancel attacks. The effect, uh, sorry, the effect of cancel attacks will increase with the stage of the auto attack, so try to execute it on the third blow to get the most bang for your buck. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. So, let's take down the captain since, you know, he's going to be more powerful than the rest of them. Okay, here we go. Let's use this. There we go, excellent. That did a good chunk of damage and now we just have to keep going. Our health isn't looking too great right now. So that's a bit of a problem, but we should be able to deal with this as long as Nia is okay with fighting the other two. Come on. There we go. Come on. Use that. Okay. Now use this. And there we go. Took him down. Let's take down the other ones now, since... We sort of kind of have to do that and wait for it, wait for it. No, 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 no. They're pretty powerful, not gonna lie. But luckily we have this. There we go, excellent. Let's take this one down, come on. This shouldn't be too difficult because, you know, he's weaker than the captain, so just do your best and take him down. That's the goal. There we go, nicely done. We got all of the money around here, and thus we have won the fight. Okay, are they going to run away now? Oh, we're going to run away. Um, what's going on? Who is that? I don't know who that is. Bridget. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Lady 
Okay, do we have to fight her or what's going on? Because if we have to fight her, then I guess it'll be an interesting fight. Oh, so she recognizes Pyra. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. I guess we have another fight to begin. Please tell me our health is somewhat recovered after sitting around for a few seconds. Okay, it is wonderful. Wait for them to come to us and then go, 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 go. She's level 10. Are you kidding me? That's powerful. That is really powerful. Okay, I'm glad we have some form of a strategy here. I hope. Okay, keep going. Keep going, come on. Just be careful with the attacks and make sure to do all the attacks. Also, the captain dude is right behind us and he is continuing to fire towards us. So that's great. I don't really want to switch the target though because that might not be a good idea right now since we're focused on this fight and it's kind of more important to win this fight than it is to win against the captain dude once again. So here we go, keep going, Mia's about to go down. This is a problem. Okay. Uh, blade combo. Help Nia. Okay. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Something happened. Okay, we helped Nia. No, we got taken down. This is a problem. This is a really big problem because, yeah, we got taken down. <laughs> uh, are we going into the fight again or what's happening here? We're all the way back over here? Are you kidding me? I mean, that's not that bad. I have an idea now. Just a tiny little idea. So let's go over here and let's try and see if we can do anything to make our character a bit stronger. Because that would be a good idea. So what do we have here? Okay, hmm, maybe it would be a good idea to switch this out for something that makes him stronger. Eh, maybe not. Hmm, this is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? It is a little bit of an issue. So, let's check the ac 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 accessory store. Oh man, okay, the accessory store, and what can we purchase? Nothing really that will be that beneficial. How about we purchase a sword? I'll purchase this one, the Sword of the Dingo. Purchase one, it's more powerful, it's better, I guess. So, that's why I'm buying it. Do I need to equip it, or is it already equipped? I do not know. I guess it'll be equipped already. What is this? If you add the chip, it makes the weapon less powerful, so I won't do that. How about here? Dang, that's powerful. Ever stronger. Wow. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, primitive rings can be turned into wild rings if we add the fang chip. And I don't think that's a bad idea since auto attack will be more powerful and a lot of stuff will be more powerful. So how about we do that? There we go. That'll make it so we're better suited in these fights here so that's good and now our trust is up 
Okay, I like that. Can I give Nia some items? Because that would be a good idea, given the fact that she currently doesn't really have anything. So, how about we give her a muscle belt to increase her strength? Okay, there we go. Nice. Everything seems good now. So, we should be okay. To an extent. I hope. Okay, here we go. Oh no, we're starting with that fight again. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. What do I want to do? Do I really want to go over there right now? Or should I maybe try to level up a little bit? You know what? You know what? I think we'll be okay. Given the fact that we put better weapons on everybody and have items on Nia now, I think we'll be okay. Because, you know, the characters are better suited for battle now, so they should be able to win this a lot easier. Maybe it would be a good idea to try and increase her HP a little bit, or increase her strength some more. Cannot set an item with the same effect. Ooh. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Do I have to buy something else? I'm not in opposition to that. So, how about I go here? And go here. Then go to Argentum. There we go. The reason I'm going back to here is so I can purchase the let's Abyss the Vest, I think it was called. So, let's go over here. And then we need to go over to the accessory store. And we need to try and purchase that. If there is another one here. So, hello there. Bye. Okay, it's not here, but I can purchase this one. And that's not bad. So there we go. And what do you have over here? Oh. That's not really that good. <laughs> okay. I think we're good now, so let's do this. And then go over to Skip Travel. Send our character back over to Torigoth. There we go. And now... We're better suited for the fight, I guess. I do need to adjust Nia a little bit. Since I have to give her the item we just purchased. So let's go here and give her that. Okay. So, we should be better off. I hope. Let's try it. And let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. We need to go over this way, and then, then we have to win this, so let's go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, start attacking. Start attacking. Our weapon is better suited to do more damage. We have better health now, so we need to do our best. That's the key to this. Okay, keep going, keep going, ooh, ooh, yeah, we're doing more damage now, nice, okay, I like this, we sort of kind of need to use our art, though, if that's possible, because right now we don't have access to it, but it would be nice to have it, since we sort of kind of need it. Also, it's nice that we get health every single time Mia gets health, because that's definitely beneficial. Okay, here we go. There we go. Keep going. Use Aqua. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. No, Nia is getting destroyed there. Oh no. Okay, help Nia, help Nia. There we go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We need some health. 
We need some health. Take down Bridget. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Okay. I will focus on this guy now. There we go. Just because he's sort of doing a good chunk of damage to us. And I would prefer to deal with him so then we don't lose. We're about to lose. We're about to lose. We're about to lose. We're done for. Darn it! Are you kidding me? Well, that's disappointing. Because you'd think we'd be better off given the fact that we just, you know, got better items, got a better weapon, but no, we weren't better off. Huh. Okay. Well, in that case, I have an idea. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but I think we have to do this, so let's start fighting stuff. Hello there, how's it going? The reason we need to start fighting stuff is so then we can start gaining some more experience and the time that we're like level 8 on both of them I guess we'll go back just so then we're better suited to win okay we need to battle something that's more powerful and also something that's not that thing cause that thing destroyed us last time so let's battle this one Okay, the Armu. Let's go. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Target it. There we go. Bring out the weapon, and let's attack. I love how it went down and it's just resting while we attack it. That's wonderful. Now it's finally starting to attack us. We had a little moment of calm there. Okay, here we go. Use this, and wait for it. There we go. Excellent. Keep going. Okay. Use double spinning edge. I need to be careful with that every single time we're in a battle, because sometimes I'll just let the attack sit there for a little bit, and I can't do that, because that's a waste of time. So every single time I see that the attack is available, I need to use it. So then we ensure that the victory is ensured, and also that we win faster. So here we go. Okay, keep going. Come on. And there we go. We won that. We also got a level up on Rex, so that is wonderful. And now I guess we need to fight a bit more since the more we level up, the better off we'll be. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, a collection point. What Wonderful. I also need to be careful not to go down <laughs> at all, because then we won't be able to go back over there and ensure victory. So I'll battle this level 7, just because it's a lower level. No, no, that one targeted us too. I don't like this. I do not like this. Target the other one. Okay, aim for the other one. Aim for the other one. Okay, there we go. The reason I'm targeting this one now is because it's an Arden, and the Arden is more powerful. Also, if we don't focus on this one, then it'll take us down, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Just because, you know, that wouldn't be fun. Okay, here we go. We sort of need Nia's help right now, but she's focused on that other fight. So that's a little bit of a problem. It's okay though, actually. Because if she focuses on that fight, then we can worry about this one. Also, go over here, go over here, go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. Use double spinning edge. Use sword bash once it's available. And now use heat there we go nice we're doing some damage to this thing I wonder how Nia is doing with that other fight I'm hoping it's going well okay go over to the side so we can grab this HP oh no I do need to rest can I pause the fight that would be nice okay come on 
The good thing here is the fact that Nia can save us if we go down. And it looks like that thing is going for Nia now. Okay, go right here, then go and grab this other one, and now use the heat attack. There we go, and there we go. That did some damage, didn't it? Okay, let's do this thing. Is that other fight... Oh, that other fight was a victory. Cool. That is wonderful. That did 1,368 damage. Why couldn't she use that attack in the fight where it actually mattered? That would have been very nice, but it didn't happen. Also, start collecting these things so then they don't disappear. Because that would not be good. Okay, here we go. And we're almost there. Okay, there we go. That should do the trick. Or close enough to it. One more hit. Come on. Double spinning edge. And we did it. Nice. If only Nia leveled up from that. I was hoping it would happen, but it didn't happen. Darn. Okay. Well, let's see here. I need to find a level 8 or 9 that isn't one of those giant things, because I haven't battled one of those giant things, so I don't know how a fight with it would go. So I need to be careful and fight something that I'm more used to. So where is that level 8? Do I want to fight that thing? I don't think so. Okay, how about we try to fight this thingy? I'll save the game real quick, so then, you know, if something bad happens, it's okay. Or, you know what? They do appear to be peaceful, so... Let's try our luck. Here we go. Okay, good thing is that the other one didn't target us, so that is very good. Because it ensures that we only have to fight this one. And their attacks don't appear to be too powerful, so we should be okay. Wonderful. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Nicely done. Keep going. Try our best in this fight, because that's what matters. Here we go. We're doing okay in this, so that's nice. And now let's use Double Spinning Edge, since we have access to that. Okay. Keep going, use Burnout. There we go, and... There we go, nice. That did a lot of damage. That is wonderful to see. Okay. Keep going. So, the good thing here is the fact that we're gaining experience. So that'll make it so we're better suited for the fight that we lost twice but at the same time we're also gaining experience in like how to battle so we're perfecting our technique and that is also very good so now how about we go over here to whatever this thing is and fight it it's level 9 okay not bad that should do to gain a level for Nia, and then we'll do one more fight, and that should lead to Rex gaining a level, hopefully. So, here we go. Use Anchor Shot. There we go. Now use Sword Bash. Almost. There we go. Okay. And we almost have access to Double Spinning Edge. So we use that, and now we're using this. Okay, nice. We're doing good chunks of damage here. So that's wonderful to see. And now we have to keep going. Come on. Okay. There we go. There we go. What do we have to do now? I'm not sure. Well, let's use Double Spinning Edge, but... What I mean by what do we have to do now other than hitting it? Uh, I'm just waiting for the art to be available again. 
so then we can use that and do a good chunk of damage, but at the same time we don't really need that since we just won the fight, and Nia got a level up, so that is wonderful. Okay, so now I think we only need to go into one more battle, and that should lead to a favorable outcome where we gain the level that we need on Rex. So, here we go. Let's see what's inside of here. Grab all of those. Okay, and now... Oh! Okay, they targeted us. Great. Wonderful. Well, here we go. Take this thing down. Okay. I really hope that the other ones don't decide... Oh! Would you look at that? This one's battling. How about we help it? Because that would not be a good situation for us. Okay, here we go. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Why did you do that? Okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Target this one now. Here we go. Keep going. Use double spinning edge. Nice. Keep going. Also, one more thing I just realized. We've increased the gauge in the top left. So I think if we go into the battle that we lost earlier right now, we should be better off since we'll have the entire gauge. And that'll be really beneficial. If any of our teammates go down. Okay. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Use this. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. We just destroyed that thing. Nice. I mean, yeah, really nice. Wow. And the added benefit to the fact that we just did that is the fact that we're increasing the trust between us and Pyra, so that's really nice. Why did that thing show up? What level is that? It's level 16. Goodbye. Goodbye. Win this fight, and then run. Run, 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 come on. Win this fight already. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, we do have to save them, but here's the issue. Yeah, I do. Run away. Run away very, very far away. Good luck, Nia. Have fun. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 please. Please. Oh, we're good. Whew. We got away from that. I'm sorry that I ran away, but I sort of kind of needed to since that thing was a level 16 and there's no way that we are anywhere near prepared okay. to battle a level 16. Maybe in the future where we've done more battles, but right now most definitely not. So, that kind of sucks, because now we need to do more fights in order to recharge our meter thing. Okay. We should be okay. A few of the fights that we do against these little things should be enough to charge it back up. Okay. Target this one now. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I keep doing that on accident, so here we go. Take this thing down. Come on. Okay. I love how easy these fights are against these smaller things. So now, I think we can do this. Well, we don't really have an option, do we now? Okay. I think we can do this. We just have to be careful in our decisions and careful in our actions but if we do both of those things then we should be okay so here we go there we go nice keep going use double spinning edge okay 
Good, good, good. Keep going. This is good. We're making good progress in the fight. This is very nice. Okay, keep going. Keep going. We're also being healed up every now and again because of the things that pop up, the HP things. So, there we go. We got more enemies in the fight, so that's wonderful. We should be okay, though, because we've almost taken the powerful one down. And once we do so, we can focus on the other ones. So, keep going. Keep going. It's almost down. Here we go. Here we go. There. We. Go. Come on. Do some more hits. Use Steam Explosion. Okay. This... This is nice. Okay. That is very nice. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's the best I can say because... Wow. That was kind of crazy. Okay. Now, let's battle this thing. And after that... Or, you know what? No, no, let's battle this thing. It's a good idea, so then we can charge up the meter all the way to full. And after that, we will be fully prepared to go into that fight again. And this time, we're not losing. Because this time, Rex is up to level 9. Nia will be up to level 9. We've also got a better understanding of how our special attacks work. And... After that, we should be okay. Should be okay. So, let's see here. Use double spinning edge. And use anchor shot now. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Use sword bash. Steam bomb. Okay. Go, 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 go. Be careful with this. Because our HP is declining. And that's a thing to keep in mind. But at the same time, we're still doing well in general, so that's wonderful. Okay, here we go. Use Steam Explosion. This is really nice, by the way. I can't wait until we use this in the fight again, because this time I know what to do. I really know what to do. So I'm prepared. Wait, Nia didn't level up? Are you kidding me? Well, let's go. I'm not going into another fight, so let's go into the one that matters and let's give it our all. Let's try our best and let's hope for a positive outcome or rather an outcome in our favor. So here we go. Jump down here and target. Time to take you down. So now we'll have the upper hand. Go in. And let's go. The reason I'm targeting this guy first is so then we worry about him. Take him down. And then he won't be a nuisance in the background. Which makes stuff a lot better. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And we're also healing up nicely, so that is wonderful. Okay. There we go. We've almost taken him down. This was a better decision. Okay, there we go. Now target the other one. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this time we're not losing. We're doing a lot better than we did last time, so that's really, really good. Okay. Can I get my good attack, the special, please? I kind of need that right now. It would be very, very, very nice to use. Here we go. Keep going. Dang, we're getting a lot of damage done to us. This is a problem, but we're still doing okay. So, we should be alright. Come on. Use this. Okay. There we go. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm pressing the B button as fast as I could. Okay. It's time. It's time. We're about to win this. 
Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Use that. Oh! Oh, I just noticed something. When we took down the captain, Nia gained a level, so that's nice. And we got a combo finish, so that's even nicer. And thus, we claim a victory in this battle, so that's pretty cool. Because we did well. But she repelled the attack? What? Okay. What? Just... What? Uh... Okay. They just tossed an ethernet at them. So... What? Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, draw mark. Get out of your axe. Interesting. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I can't just leave you here. That's not a good idea. Yeah, but no bets. Go. No. We must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. But okay. Run away. Run away. Yeah, just run. Okay. It might be too late now. Damn it. Or not? I don't know. What is that? What just happened? What's going on? Ooh. Is that her weakness? Okay. Interesting. Ooh. We're withdrawing now. Okay. It would have been nice if we could have saved Nia and Dromark, but... It's okay, we'll come back for her in the future. Cause you know, it's not a good idea to leave friends behind. So we'll come back and save her eventually once we've recovered from this situation and once we've got everything together. So we're just hiding inside this random building now. Oh. Okay. Quick, no time for explain. We're being helped by Tora. Cool. Well, that's eventful. And a very opportune situation. You saved us. <laughs> okay then. Why? I'm confused as well. No reason. No reason. Oh. Okay, that's a pretty good reason. And that's very nice for us, since, you know, we don't have to worry about them anymore. For now. Oh! So, okay, so that's what happened. I saw that projectile that hit the pipe, but I wasn't sure what happened there. Now I understand. Okay. What's so funny? Actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Oh? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. This way. Okay. Also, I love the music in the background there. That was really nice. Okay. Party formation has changed. Sadly. Because, you know, we sort of kind of just lost a member from our party. But we'll find Nia again, don't worry. This isn't the end of what happened. The boy and his blade who seemed to be working with them got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe for she Padre. Do you remember what my Oh, I remember this guy. This is the guy that the person from the trade place called the emerald core crystal did i not do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head but sir she's a member of torma 
I'll say it slowly for you, just so we are clean. Okay. Get well, the blade with the emerald. This is interesting. So, yeah. He told this person to get the emerald. Well, the person with the emerald crystal. And. Yeah, it didn't happen. No? It's not like that. That's more of a teal or a turquoise. It's more green than that. The green would be more like the green of the chair rather than the teal slash turquoise of the vase. Don't drop the vase. The vase did nothing. Okay. I don't know who that is, but I'm assuming we'll find out eventually. Okay! Wonderful! Well, that was an interesting cutscene. And that's a pretty big ship. What's going on? Why is it doing stuff? And where is it going? Oh, wait, is that the person that he was worried about? The ship of the person? I guess so. Why is the ship so big? I mean, it's decently sized even in comparison to the titan that we're currently on i think it's larger than the city itself so that's great who is that okay i don't know who that is but they're here and something's gonna happen <laughs> I assume. Okay. So we're inside his house now. Ooh. This isn't bad. Okay. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. Anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex. Hmm. Shall I explain the other reason I help you? What is the you reason? See, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Okay. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how driver and blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Ooh. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? Sidekick. Rex, not two. In what sense? Point? Well, nothing. I mean, it wouldn't yes. be bad to have a sidekick, you know. Someone helping us out. From what I'm used to. Double name just showed Taurus respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Yeah, friends would be a better option, you know. Because, be you know, just Rex being friends. Rex. Helping each other out. <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to... We have to save near and draw mark. Hmm. Okay. Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue. Yeah. Meh meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. I mean it's fine, because we can stick around for a little bit. Ooh, food. Nice. I like how he just shows up out of the helmet and says that. That's pretty funny. No? 
Food right now would definitely be nice. You can't argue with that. Um, if it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra, I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Okay. Whoa. That's if you cool. Want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Tora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Just what's in the pantry there, not much really. Tora, sorry. It doesn't seem wise to go out and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we've got then. Okay. Glitter spuds, sumpkins, oh, and here is an oil oyster and a single meaty carrot and hot oranges too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. All foods that can be eaten with no cooking. That how Tora usually eat? That's a bit depressing. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So what can you make, Pyra? Can you make anything with this? Yes, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. A landmark. Tora's house. Awesome. Cool. So, for now, I'm going to end off this episode here, so thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 series on the channel. Bye, everybody.